Hello there. I am sitting here with the Red Book. The Red Book. <laughs> it's very big. The Red Book was a dream journal of sorts written by Carl Jung over the course of a decade around World War One. I. I think he started in 1912 and ended in 1922, 26, something like that. Um, I'm going to read to you the first chapter of the seven... <laughs> I'm going to read to you the first chapter of the Seven Sermons of the Dead, which is one of the few pieces of the Red Book that Carl Jung published during his lifetime. Uh, this book, the whole Red Book, he was very nervous to publish because he was afraid that it would undermine his credibility as a scientist, as a psychologist, which it does. Um, if I had to say if it does, it does. Uh, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Uh, but it probably does undermine his, his scientific reductionist positive, positive, positivistic reputation. Not that he had one of those. Um, in any case, this book is really beautiful. It's got all of these facsimile illustrations here. Look at these mandalas. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. What random page. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty things. Um, and the Seven Sermons comes at the very end. It's kind of a, a concluding cosmology, and it's very much a cosmology. Um, so it, it's based off of a cosmology of a Gnostic named uh, Basilides of Alexandria, who was writing in the second century after Christ. Um, and he had a very innovative cosmology, and Jung was reading a lot of Gnosticism, and so he decided to make his own more metaphysical, probably, cosmology, or at least more updated metaphysics. It's all, it's all fantasy. It's all gobbledygook, but interesting, nonetheless. Um, create his own cosmology. And so the seven servants of the dead represent the seven days of creation, etc., etc. Um, so the seven servants were published in the 60s, I think, but not, not in their original context. So here's their original context, this big red book, and I'm going to read the seven sermons, or really I'm just, today I'm just going to read the first sermon, because they're quite long. Um, but the first sermon is the most important, or the first two, because it introduces this word, pleroma, which I think is a really important word. Um, the word pleroma was picked up by Gregory Bateson in his book Angel's Fear. The first essay in Angel's Fear um, features the pleroma and, and creatura, which is the second sermon. It's about creatura quite intensely. In fact, the references to the pleroma and creatura are, are riddled throughout the book. So I think that's really interesting. That there's this you know, Gnostic religious concept, these words that were invented 2,000 years ago and then kind of left in a fossilized form because Gnosticism was was put down at the Council of Nicene. You know, all of all of these heretical Gnostic beliefs were were deemed non canonical and, and Christianity kinda of consolidated itself and all of these Gnostic sects dissolved or maybe they were persecuted, who knows? Um, and there are all these Gnostic texts that basically nobody did anything with for 2,000 years, give or take. I mean, that's not completely true, I'm sure. I mean, somebody had to copy them and copy the copies and copy the copies of the copies. And But really, um, Jung is, you know, one of one of the th scholarly things that Jung did was, was really popularize Gnostic thought. Um, and, and here we have a version of it. Anyway, that's a bunch of preamble, uh, but really I want to talk about this concept, pleroma, and, and the corresponding concept, creatura, um, in a modern sense, in a biosemiotic sense, in the way that Gregory Bateson talks about it, because I think it's really important. Um, but, given the nature of this channel as, you know, repetition of holy texts, let's touch infinity every day, I wanted to read the first Sermon of the Dead in full and hopefully sometime soon I'll read the second Sermon of the Dead. Cool. So, um, I'm going to begin, but maybe I'll, I'll break it up. So I'm going to end this video. This video is the introduction to the Seven Sermons of the Dead, and then I'll read the first sermon. Uh, soon. Now. Now. Okay. I'll
I'll see you. See you in the next video in the playlist. Bye.